I know, I know, I'm late to the party. What's going on, guys? It's your boy James here, Beards and Calls, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, considering that big red subscribe button down below. Now, guys, I know that I'm late to the party. I didn't want to drop this video when everybody else dropped their uh, top beer conditioners or whatever, so I figured I'd drop mine at a later date, all right? So these beer conditioners here that I'm going to talk to you about goes in pretty much no particular order. I'm just going to tell you these are my top favorite beer conditioners and if you haven't tried them i suggest that you give these a shot these are the ones that i picked out that make my beard the softest out of any other beer conditioner that i've tried to date doesn't mean there's not another one out there better than this just means that these are the ones that i've tried that i you know particularly love and will not take off of my shelf i will only add to it and the only way i'll take these off is if they're discontinued which i think one is i'm not 100 percent sure yet but I'm going to drop it on you guys anyways. So I'm just going to pick these out. Like I said, guys, it goes in no particular order. The new Scotch Porter is still king of beer conditioners, in my opinion. I don't want to say it's the best. Like I said, this goes in no particular order. This is just my top beer conditioners here. So Scotch Porter, the new Scotch Porter, the old Scotch Porter, whichever one you got, is still at the top of my list. All right. Then we got Beard Octane Neutral. Okay, this is an amazing beer conditioner here, guys. Amazing beer conditioner. This is this is neutral, so it doesn't have a scent profile. Makes your beard super super soft. The other one, Chesapeake Ultra. Now I'm pretty sure this one is uh, discontinued now, but Chesapeake Ultra is an amazing beer conditioner. With that being said, guys, even if this is discontinued, Gary Chesapeake Beer Grooming has several other beer conditioners any beer conditioner that i've ever picked out from chesapeake none of them have let me down they've just pretty much seemed to me had a different smell a uh, different scent profile but they've all worked just as well as the next one another one of my top favorites guys detroit grooming okay this here is an amazing uh beer conditioner so this is the toasted vanilla and amber this is a very good scent profile guys if you never tried this out this scent profile is amazing. So all these beer conditioners here, in my opinion, all are really tight and really close to each other. As far as the race, if I was gonna pick one, you said, hey, just pick one of these beer conditioners, I really wouldn't know which one to pick just to stick with. Like if you tell me it's the only one you can have forever, I'd be really confused because these four right here are pretty close to each other when it comes down. As far as they work, they just got a little bit different scent profiles, you know, may not have a scent profile at all, but they all work very, very well. So as far as the scent profile goes, if I was to pick just one, it would definitely be this Toasted Vanilla from Detroit Grooming. I do have some links for some of these down below, guys. I don't have affiliates for every one of these, but if you're going to pick one out, I might have a link in the description or down below. And if not, you can go to somebody else's channel and check it out. I'm sure they have one. But these are awesome beer conditioners right here all four of these you cannot go wrong with my beard feels super soft after i condition with any of these beer conditioners right here so like i said i'll leave some links down below guys let me know if you guys have tried any of these beer conditioners and what you think about them i think all four of these are running a real tight race and i will never stop using any of these unless they're just discontinued and no longer available okay with that being said guys that's my top four beer conditioners of 2021 i know it's a different number than top five like everybody else does but i wanted to do the top four because that is my top four right there so until i find a fifth one to add to it that's what it's going to be it's going to be my top four all right so see you guys in the next one